Hello my friends, Mike here and today we are going to check out Ample China Dadi, which is a bass DC, a side-blown Chinese flute, which sounds beautiful. So let's start with the actual sound example. I composed this little piece here with only some piano, uh, to get the harmonies and then this lyrical melody and you can even see the key switches in here uh, which activates the beautiful articulations to spice up the performance. It sounds like this. Such a beautiful, airy sound, full of emotion and expression. So that is my example. Now let's continue by diving into the interface and check out what this uh, software instrument of a bass DC called Ample China Daddy can do. All right, so this is the user interface. And what I like is that all Ample sound products have the same type of interface. So once you learn one, you learn them all. It's also very clean and beautiful compared to, for example, Contact, which I do not like the interface of. So uh, here you have the articulations you can choose. So the first one is the main articulation, the sustain, the, you know, the normal type of articulation. And you have on your mod wheel, uh, the default is that the mod wheel is controlling the vibrato and CC11, you can assign that to another fader, just right click. Here and you can assign this uh, to whatever you want. So it's as you can see on CC11 on the expression. So that means if I increase CC11, you can see this knob going up. And there's also several dynamic levels. So if you press the keys hard or soft, uh, it will get a different dynamic. Dynamic. So soft, medium, and hard. And that velocity also uh, assigns um, a different articulation automatically if I play, for example, here. And then the next note, very hard, you hear that. And if I play softly, you hear that in a more legato fashion. So you have a CC11 and then the mod will for vibrato. And only with that you can play beautifully, like this. You can ride up and down on the vibrato. You can see it here, it's the mod wheel. Just increase the volume in my headphones. So, uh, the interface looks clean. You can mix the various microphones over here. Uh, you can pan it, of course. I usually do that in my DAW, the expression. You also have, let's see, um, the uh, effects page where you have you know, here you have a compressor, some EQ, the stereo feel, I guess, and, you know, the reverb here. And then you have the settings, um, where you can see the dynamic levels and so on. And finally you have a page here. I'm actually not sure what you want to see here. It shows basically what uh, samples are triggered, I think. But anyway, uh, if we go back to the main interface again, here you have the keyboard range, you can see the articulations, you can see the range, and the range from this instrument is, let me see, check, G3, so below C4, so lower than a concert flute, all the way up to, let's see, highest note seem to be E6, so G3 to E6, quite a big range actually. So here. That's a big range of notes. And uh, what I also like is that the articulations here are, uh, it's, they work, instead of activating the articulation and then have to switch back, they work like on a uh, 
temporary way. So if I play something and then I activate an articulation, let's you can see C uh, let's see C1 here is um, the main articulation, the sustain. But this one here, or let's say grace up. And if I release that key, it goes back. And I really like that because that way you can add these uh, variations just on single note. I just trigger here on my other MIDI keyboard the articulations. So just let, let me quickly go through everyone here. So we have sustain. Right. So let's see. So... And then you have repeated tonguing. So that I just held one note there. You have grace up. So and grace down. You have this pentatonic up and down. So good for building into a note in a passage. Or and really nice that it's pentatonic, because then it can work in minor and major keys. Uh Ripple, this fast little thing here, long trembling, I just hold one note now. Impulse, which is this really overblown accent, so... Scattering up, scattering down. Howling legato. So it starts in a normal way, then increases dynamics to that uh, overblown uh, sound. Wolf tone. Another one which is going into overblown. Variable vibrato. So this is a vibrato that's not uh, pulsing on the same um, curve, but actually changes over time. Oops, what? Super nice. Variable trill. Oh, this is nice. I just realized that... If I play very softly, it starts at a, a low rhythmic trill here. And then re increases. But if I play it, uh, the note, the key harder... There! Wait, wait a minute, how? Yeah, like that. Flutter, tanging. Uh, let's see what we have here. Marking. So, normal note. Marking. Get this little variation there. Layering. Wait, wait, I, I mean, all these little decorations make a huge difference to make that expressive emotional feel. Slide up and slide down. Really, uh, here you can hear the Asian sound. Uh, sforzando. So that starts with a really accented overblown note and then immediately goes down in dynamics. Another wolf tone. Starts with a super hard accent. Slide out, downwards. This is if you hold the note. You can hear. It really you, it decreases dynamics, so it uh, goes down in pitch as well. And this is just acoustic. This is how flutes work. Impulse release. Good for ending. Endings. Licks. So here are phrases. This is something I really personally use in my music compositions and productions. Because I love to perform everything myself. So, I mean, but if you want to just add... Something. I think this, uh, it might be uh, changing if you set the key. So if you're writing in D. Yeah, so it's different 
this uh, you should really activate what key you're in because that um, changes some of the articulations. Howling. And let's see. What's this? Mirroring. I... Let me read. I actually don't hear what that does. Playing the key switch when a note is sounding will reverse the sample at the current position. Changes, for example, the slide down to slide. Slide up to slide down. Okay. Mm. Uh, so those are all the articulations. You can also, if you check this part here, uh, change the playing mode from instrument mode to keyboard mode. I'm actually not sure what that means, to be honest. I... Oh, I see. So this is what I talked about in the beginning, that if you have it on instrument mode, it goes back to the sustain, the normal articulation, whereas on keyboard mode, it seems to stay, whatever I play. Stop a phrase, it stays there. I prefer the instrument mode. Uh, then you can, let's see, check. Um, I think this is random articulations. So if I press that one and stop play, it starts to add um, random articulations so you don't have to program them in. Uh, you also have uh, legato mode. Let's see what this is. The, the, uh, legato mode or slide legato when playing a major. Okay, so these are variations on how to how the legato performs. I haven't changed that myself. I think it sounds nice as it is. And sample loop. Samples such as sustain and legato will keep looping. And if it's off, the samples reach its natural release. So I think they recorded like eight second long notes, and you rarely use longer than eight second notes in any piece of music. So in most cases, I would keep that off. Uh, I haven't tried the sustain pedal. I will see if that actually actually activates. Let me uh, see if I can. So it doesn't do anything. Uh, I wonder if I can actually. M hold pedal. We can actually map that to something else, I think. Um, so, uh, I really love the sound and the playability. Let me just grab my faders here so I can. Super lyrical, very well performed and recorded. Um, the there are some aspects I would like to give as feedback uh, for future updates. Uh, one being this, I actually would like to use the the random articulation, but instead of having because it's if it's completely random, it gets almost chaotic. You know, I don't think you can. Um, if you can. Uh, write it in comment if someone knows, but I don't think you can. So what I would like is to have this random articulation. Instead of it being completely random, I would like to pick and choose, like add a grace notes, perhaps some pentatonic ups and downs, for example, um, some this variable vibrato and so on. Just pick a couple of ones, and then also uh, perhaps for each one of them add uh, like a percentage of how often it could be used. Like, um, I, I would prefer more often to use uh, the grace up note, for example. So, I, I would imagine that would need an entire page or something. So, perhaps it's too big of a feature to ask for. But anyway, that's what I would love to have. Other than that, I haven't found anything really um, as a downside in this instrument. Um, I mean, you heard how it played, it it plays, it performs beautifully. And uh, I mean, if you if you don't like to activate it with key switch notes, uh, you can of course create your own articulation maps for it in uh, whatever DAW you use, so in Logic. Uh, if you create an articulation set, you can actually activate it, the articulation switching per note and assign it here. So that is Ample China Daddy. I will leave a link in the description so you can check them out. 
This is actually part of a whole series of Chinese instruments. I think there's five different instruments. So if you, like myself, uh, are a fan of this ethnic Eastern Asian type of sounds, really check the, this out and check out their entire series. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the next video, my friends.